right guys, so 30 days ago, we decided to weigh ourselves every single morning for an entire month. Yeah, and I know a lot of you are probably thinking like, like I weigh myself every day. Where do you do it? <laughs> every morning, probably for a large majority of your life you've been doing this. Um, and yeah, and as a general observation, this is something that we've noticed as well. In our own lives, we yeah. have seen it in our mothers, yeah. our sisters, our aunts. All of my friends, actually, mm. now that I think about it, yeah, my sisters wake up every single day and do this. Yeah. But why? Yeah. So we thought that maybe like this can assist us somehow in our fitness goals, you know? Like, is this a tool that we can use to progress? Could it be something actually positive yeah. in our lives that we've been missing out the last few years? Because I know personally, I haven't weighed myself in years. Yeah, years. And for me, it's just because I just never bought a scale, you know? <laughs> like, I just never like felt the need to like spend money on a scale. <laughs> and for yeah. me, I remember that it was because I started to see numbers that I didn't like. Oh, interesting. And see, also, so I'm five, five, seven, like five, six and three quarters, but like, oh, I'm, like, I'm exactly, I say the same thing. Five, six and three quarters. Yeah. Oh, so are maybe, you? Maybe I'm five, six and a half. Actually, Actually I was <laughs> lied to. Maybe no. Okay. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> oh. I'm five seven. You are five seven. Yeah, you have to be. She's just a little guy. She's like a smidge taller than me. But I was told growing up that I was five six and three quarters. Oh, and I've been measured than five six and three quarters. Like I'm just like a little shorter. Yeah, but you, I am a little bit taller. Yeah. Yeah. Side note. Anyway, but I can. I definitely. That's true. Growing mm -hmm. up, like being taller than the average female, like a lot of my friends were were smaller. Were like five foot or five two or just like smaller than me in general and their numbers never matched up to mine. Absolutely not. And I think not only I hit my growth spurt, um, a little later, like I hit it for sure, like in high school and then in college I grew again even more, Oh. but I was always heavier. I was the fat kid. Oh. I was the fat girl. I was always, Aww. yeah. And in middle school and in high school, um, and I've always been thick. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I do remember seeing the number and hearing other girls be like, oh, I'm 120 pounds, I'm 119 pounds, and I was like, <laughs> I always kept quiet during those conversations. Yeah. Yeah. But why does the number matter? It doesn't, doesn't. matter. It, it's also like a, a mental thing, you know, because like you equate a small number with being skinny and like, of course, like people, you know the models or the magazines or the Barbie dolls or like the image in our is our, in our mind of how we're supposed to be is like thin. Yeah. So how how was this challenge for you? Oh what did you think of this? Honestly it was it was kind of inconvenient and annoying and like frustrating. <laughs> Hell yeah. I hated this. Like hated this. Oh. I feel like this made this added negativity to my day first thing in the morning. So I just weighed myself and today is a heavy day. I already like feel bad about myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I I feel like I feel like I'm behind in my workouts, I feel like I'm behind in my eating, I feel like I'm just like failing because this number I expected to be smaller. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, but true. Yeah, definitely agreed. Like mm -hmm. I would wake up on the I would wake up and like already be kind of annoyed that I have to get out of my usual morning routine that I did um, by switching it up and then going to the scale and not knowing whether or not I was going to like the number that was there. And the thing was, is I me personally, I never liked the number like mm. never, you know, and in turn, it made me kind of feel like. Like I was basically like unhappy with myself and then, but really what was happening is that I was slacking on my fitness goals at the same time. So I was like unhappy with my overall performance Life yeah. and everything else. Yeah. And then I see this number and I'm like, oh my God, like my whole world is collapsing. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. It's almost like a, it felt like a direct reflection of how everything else is going. Around you. Yeah. 
And, and yet, and still, yeah. seeing that number pop up added an act extra layer of stress. Yeah. But but it did make me feel like if I saw, like, if I had a, a heavy day, like a heavy number day, and I saw that, sometimes I'd be like, like, screw it. Like, it's binge. It's binge time. <laughs> you oh, know? Like, like it's sad, but it's so like, true. Yeah. Or, like, I'd be at the gym, and I would see a heavier number that day and be like, looking in the mirror being like, man, like I feel gross. Even though I didn't mm -hmm. feel gross before I woke up. Yeah. Like before mm -hmm. I stepped on the scale, so. Yeah. In the beginning of the 30 days, like we originally thought that we could use the scale as a tool to track like our, our fitness progress, but like. But unfortunately, it's like, it became an yeah. unhealthy habit. Yeah. It became something that was negative on our psyche. Yeah. Honestly. And it's like, why do we need to track our weight, our daily weight. <sighs> I already don't want to weigh myself in the morning because I like ate super late, so <laughs> I know I'm just gonna be weighing the food I just ate. Like, it's so annoying, honestly. When really we should be tracking our consistency, like the consistency in those healthy habits that actually are the things that produce results for us. And one of the greatest yeah. ways that I found personally is using progress photos. Yeah. Yeah. And that's <laughs> you have some great progress photos. Yeah. And I mean, progress pictures don't have to be from six weeks ago. I know two years ago, like that's when I was at my heaviest weight and like I just felt it in my everything, my every fiber of my being. And if I compare it to pictures of me now, that's motivation within itself. Mm -hmm. uh, but being able to see those differences physically in a photo, man, yeah. really, really helps. Another alternative to the scale anyway would just be like measure yourself, like take an actual tape measure mm -hmm. and, and track your measurements. Because <laughs> something really important is on your own body, your number could maybe not change for months, maybe not years, and you could stay at the same weight, but your weight and that number could be very different depending on how much you're working out, how much muscle you have, how much fat you have. And see, for us, like this was largely fitness driven, so. And maybe be sure to ask yourself why. Yeah. Like, why are you weighing yourself? And hopefully it's out of a positive, happy, healthy place that benefits you. In my opinion, if you're going to weigh yourself, like, just give yourself some time in between weigh-ins, mm -hmm. you know, because like they say, like things don't happen overnight, you know, so give yourself some time to actually see results. Mm -hmm. um, but most importantly, we want to make sure that we are only creating happier and healthier habits in our lives, and we hope that you all are aspiring for the same. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much um, for, for checking in with us. Um, Please continue to come back and check in for a new perspective. And let us know, like, do you have any healthy habits that, like, help you progress in your fitness journey? Because um, we are always on the lookout Definitely for Definitely interested. <laughs> but we will see you all soon. And love you guys.